I was asked once on an interview, what's the difference between positive Christianity and others? Well, we support you going to the church of your choice, number one. But there is a difference. We believe in a positive God, a God that is not out to get you, a God that will always have your back. And I believe that was the God of Jesus. And we believe that God is love, not a conditional love, not a love that if you're doing everything exactly right, a love that is endless and without any kind of limit. The great God of love is an ocean without a bottom or a shore. In 1 John 4, verse 16, the Bible says this, God is love, and the one that remains in love remains in God, and God remains in him or her. When you are expressing love, you are truly worshiping God. When you do something else, well, you're, you're falling a bit short, and don't we all? But we must strive to go the extra mile. God is love. That's a sweeping statement, a profoundly important description of what God is and how God works. God's love is perfect and it's powerful. And when we open our hearts to God's love, we are transformed. Those three words can transform your whole life, especially your spiritual life. To know that God is love, that God loves you, that God loves other people that aren't exactly like you or aren't like us. God's love is so all-encompassing, it leaves no one out. Today, even when you can carve out a few moments of quiet time. Offer sincere prayers of thanksgiving to God. When you carve out those few minutes of time, think about God in a new and a higher way. Think about God as absolute, total, complete love. And think about yourself as immersed in that love. And thank God for God's promise of love, and for God's many blessings, some that you know about, and the majority that you have not yet discovered. As you sit in silence, I ask you to open your heart and sense God's presence. Now open your heart to the full love of God, and allow that full love of God to infill your heart, your mind, your soul, your body, your emotions, your attitudes, your opinions, every part of you, and open your ears to hear God's voice. And when you do, you're going to be surrounded in a genuine love that flows from the heart of God. I've had many people say that when they meditated on those three words, God is love, it changed their lives, their whole perception of life and what life is. You can experience this true love this week. Simply open your heart. Don't keep your heart closed. Don't keep it crusty. Don't keep it moody or revengeful or hateful. Open your heart to God's love. And the great love of God that is an ocean without a bottom or a shore will infill you.